folks, and welcome to Subjective Thoughts. And our comic for today is Exo Man of War Unconquered, Issue 1 by Valiant. Now there is violence, killing, aliens, explosions, a powerful alien technology armor suit, and, uh, well, one really big bloody alien. So if you are in any way squeamish, oh, in death. So if you are in any way squeamish, you have been warned. Also, spoilers. All right, here is the team. Out of which I did recognize someone, but not by uh, the name, but by his art style. Uh, the interior artist, I, when I looked inside, I was like, oh wait, I know this guy, it's uh, Liam Sharp. I have another comic with his art style. I forgot what comic it was, but yeah. So, his art style, oh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, now, I've uh, up until my friend Andrew told me about um, Axel Man of War or uh, Eric, I'm pronouncing his name right. I haven't heard of him. And uh, it's a shame I haven't because he seems like a really cool character and right up my alley. But yes, now I have, um, and now this is also quite a new series. I think it came out this year. More, more issues are supposed to come out, but yeah. So it took me a bit as always to get to this one. All right, let's uh, dive into the story. So we start with seeing, um, I'm just going to call him Eric. He's, uh, he's uh, in some planet walking over uh, skeletons. And we have narration from an alien spaceship very far away from there, uh, which, or at least that's what they call her, named the Suit Seer. Um, and the alien, I guess the alien force, uh, their commander, or uh, I had to refer to, well, let's say he's their lord, their leader, he wants to get um, Eryx's suit. Now, his suit's not regular, it's sentient. And the soul of this woman was somehow put into it. And I really, I really want to read the origins. But yes, yeah, so they want to get the suit. So they have this wish to uh, see about uh, Eric himself. They want to know about him. And so she sees all this stuff. She sees uh, where he is right now. So they devised a plan. They've sent a, uh, what looks like a meteor or an asteroid towards Earth, knowing that uh, Eric is going to fly and try to save Earth. Now, this um, meteor is not really a meteor, it's a bomb that they built to kill him and then get the armor. And, and Eric is uh, telling the, um, the, the armor that she has a name. I'll leave it here on the screen because I'm not even trying to pronounce her name. But yes, they, they, they asked her, you know, will you be able to sustain yourself uh, afterwards if he dies? So, because she, uh, the armor, she tells him, uh, you know, if we hit it hard enough, it will uh, cause it to explode and the earth will be saved. So, as the witch uh, the soothsayer is telling them all this, she says that, uh, Eric is Eric's life flashes flash before his eyes, and we see. I, I think we see his father being killed. He he has become who you who he became because of uh, what happened to his uh, people. How he saved them and then brought them to Earth. I I think in the flashbacks we see a blonde lady holding some man who's on the ground. He has an arrow through him. I assume those are his parents, maybe. And we see more. We see him uh, learning how to fight. And then uh, already a grown man. But yes, yeah, so the, all that flashes and then boom, the explosion hits. And she doesn't see anymore. She says it's all uh, black now. But that's what the, the these aliens, their, their leader, what he wants. Uh, they're, I guess, we sort of emperor. Anyway, that's it has been done. Uh, but then uh, Eric uh, survives the explosions, the explosion. 
Uh, and uh, the, the armor, she keeps him alive. Now, he didn't want that. He wanted to die. But uh, she tells her he still has, uh, he still has things to do. So he's on this uh, planet that's uh, uninhabited. There's been a, a race of aliens there, but they're long gone. And the only inhabitants are creatures that are under the ice. And one such huge motherfucking creature, alien, just bursts out of the ice. And um, now the armor, she does her best to keep him alive. And it uses her powers to heal his injuries and also to keep him warm. He names the planet, um, and then he tells her, at least give me the sword, and he kills this huge thing. And then we move on to the, back to the headquarters of the aliens, and we have a general and a commander talking amongst themselves. And I think it's the general who says uh, that their, you know, their alien leader has been diverting too much resources into finding this armor. And the commander tells him, you know, watch your tongue. And he's just saying that we maybe we need a backup plan, is all he's suggesting. Now the, the witch, suits here says that um, they should all be, uh, they're all doomed if uh, Eric, Eric has survived. And oh boy, how right she was. <laughs> Yes, anyway, they're walking, um, a ship has already been sent to go gather the armor, because they are certain that Arik is dead, even though the suit seer says that he might uh, not be, she she can't see. Uh, so there we go, uh, some time has passed, Arik has turned uh, the, the carcass of this uh, giant alien into a sort of a home. And uh, the armor says, what are we doing here? Are we hiding? And he says, no, we're healing. She tells him, no, you're hiding from the fact that you can't save everyone. And he said, you know, I'm not a hero. And she tells him, but you have done heroic things as you are about to do. And then we see the ship. Uh, Eric asks her, will I have enough power to fight? And she answers, it's not ideal, but yes. And so the, the armor um, uh, gathers around. There was this yellow with, with everything. Well, uh, two aliens appear. One kind of looks like a less, a lot less ugly version of uh, the Predator. And one looks kind of like Skeletor. I'm, I'm not sure what kind of species they are. Anyway, this is a sort of a trap. They're inviting him up to the spaceship. Uh, but before that, they threw a net on him, and he fell to the ground. And he had, and he's like, well, what is this? Why can't I break it? And he gets out of the net, and um, back on the spaceship, the general and the commander are watching all this, because the two aliens, they said, have cameras. And I can see him, which I have to say, this is like alien technology and all that shit, but their camera quality is, well, shit. You think with all that technology, you get a clear picture? It's like black and white and all jubbly. I, I just found that a bit funny. I'm like, come on, guys. You have blasters and shit. This is the best you can do? Yes. Eric, though, realizes that it's a trap. He knows. And uh, the general says he knows that, you know, that's it. Uh, he knows because he's an animal. And then uh, Eric takes, uh, they threw a trident at him? And then that was like a warning shot. Uh, maybe it was a, a sort of a harpoon, a harpoon arrow. And he grabs it, he kills the uh, predator-looking alien. He grabs the other one and says, Ah, you think I didn't notice that you have cameras? And uh, then he says directly to the camera, To you up there, the, the race of aliens they are, I am coming for you. Exo Meta War is coming uh, for you. And wait, let me just check again what the guy say in the end. Um, sorry. I, 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 he says, the general says, gods. So yeah, he tells them to run, because he's coming for them. 
fucking close. Whoops, shit. And that is the end of issue one. All right. So this is the, the cover. Of, I like it. I love all the purple around it. Very nice. I almost say Valiant should have maybe... I don't know, they added a bit. It's hard to see where the Valiant is because it's way over here. But other than that, good colors. Even though it's yellow. It's still good colors. I like the composition. It's dynamic. And now for the art. Now this is uh, Mr. Sharp's art art style. As I said before, it reminds me of um, H.R. Giger very much. You see, look at the, the colors, everything amazing. Uh, it's so nice after looking at Miss Truesdale. Miss Truesdale and the Fall of Hyperborea art. Uh, that one was... Uh, uh, that, after that scene, this is really nice. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, so that's the. Um, see, he's, he's got the sword here. It kind of looks like a lightning bolt, doesn't it? I'm not sure where he is when this um, sort of vision starts. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at the details, man. That is amazing. There's Eric. A very handsome gentleman. Nice and beefy. There we go. I think that's him too. There we go. Kneel before Exo Man of War. Nice. Oh, and there's the witch lady. See? I told you. I, I love her design. And uh, again, nice boobs. Yeah, there she is. That's her um, uh, seeing these uh, visions. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Oh, yeah, art style is just amazing and the colors lovely there we go that's all i can show you so i uh, as you can tell I, I bloody love the art i'm not sure why but it looks like there's not enough of the front cover here to to i don't know you see it's not fully you can see a bit of the pages i don't know if that's intentional or maybe the way it was uh I don't know, um, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a little bit, yeah, maybe they missed it a bit too much. Because, yeah, you could see it, yeah. yeah it's not important, just, uh, notice that, it's, yeah, I think it's, uh, when they, um, I scrapped it together, oh, no, that's not the word. Anyway, so, uh, the story. I really love the story the, for the first issue. Was, uh, even if you don't know who he is, uh, I felt it was already from the from the get go. It was already engaging. You see this uh, war zone. He's stepping on skeletons of presumably his enemies, and you see the the witch lady. And then you you get a little bit of a I guess a really really brief about his history. Now, not exactly. You get a few glimpses. But it really uh, d does give the interest to uh, find out more. And uh, maybe that was just the beginning. You already had uh, quite a bit happen. You got to know a bit about the armor. That uh, her soul was trapped in this armor. And how everyone is after her. Or it, well, her. Because they want to use her powers. And even these aliens, they want to, uh, and I think, take the powers and use them. And how, uh, and how she thinks that uh, out of everyone that she's been the armor to, uh, Eric is the most worthy. They had, and now I'm interested to see how these two met. How did he even find the armor and start using it and how he uh, saved his people? I really want to go and pick up the... Uh, this is, uh, the, the original, I think, is only four issues of the original story. So I'm definitely gonna pick, pick that up to read. So as the first issue is very engaging and the, uh, together uh, with, with the art is uh, amazing. All the stuff you learn and already have some uh, killing action as well. So yeah, fantastic. Loved it. And I look forward to the continuation. I've uh, subscribed to this one. That's how much I was uh, impressed with the, uh, the first issue.
But yes, that's about it. Uh, let me know down below if you've read any uh, Exo Man of War. What did you think about it? Did you read the, the original um, miniseries? Uh, and yeah, the, the original miniseries. What did you think? What did you think about this one? Um, that's it, right? I haven't forgotten anything. Not that I think I mentioned any, everything. Alright, so that is it, folks. Now remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye! <laughs>